hello again. Welcome back. It's Brubecue, and today we are gonna do a little leftover casserole. Uh, my last video I made arrobada, which is like a seasoned pork on the rotisserie. We had a ton of leftovers. Uh, figure what better than a casserole. Thinking elote arrobada casserole. So if you don't know what elote is, it's basically like uh, Mexican street corn that's grilled, just straight in the husk. Usually you put mayonnaise on it, a little bit of uh, you know cilantro, some cotija cheese, and then some hot sauce. Absolutely incredible. So I kind of want to carry that theme over with this arrobada. So let's get to it. For this, we're going to do uh, rice as the base. So to get the rice started here, we have two cups of water. We have one cup of rice. And then we're gonna, just to add a little bit of seasoning to this, we're gonna add two cans of El Pato Salsa de Chili Fresco. Now this just has like a ton of flavor to it. Uh, not a lot of heat. That's going in there. And then we're just gonna bring this to a boil, let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And uh, that's gonna be the base for our rice. It's gonna be a little, you know, flavored salsa style rice that's gonna go into this casserole. All right, so we've got about 20 minutes before the rice is finished and we can uh, assemble this skillet. Uh, might as well move on to my favorite part of the day, beer of the daytime. So we're doing a Mexican dish here. I happened to be in uh, Tijuana the other day, picked up some local craft brews. Uh, this is Vera Niega uh, Cerveza Mexican Ale. So uh, that's what we got here. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that Tijuana actually has a really good craft beer scene going on down there from Tijuana, all, all of Baja, actually. There's, you know, Baja Brewing in Cabo. You've got a couple in Rosarito. So uh, I'm kind of curious. I, I went into a little bodega for cervezas, and uh, the guy recommended this one. So let's try it out. All right, there you go. Nice and clear, almost lager-like. Um, to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure what a Mexican ale is. But uh, it says it's 20 IBUs and 4.7% uh, on the ABV. So it's almost like a blonde with a hint of something. I don't know. Maybe if I could read the label, I'd be able to explain a little more about it. But uh, yeah, it's like a nice little blonde ale. Nice little earthiness to it. Overall, a good beer. <laughs> Could kick back with a few of these over on the beach and just kind of relax. So uh, I guess let's uh, wait for this rice. I'm going to drink a little of this and uh, we'll get to the rest of this recipe. All right, rice is about done. We're going to start getting this thing assembled here. Uh, we're going to start off with just a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil in the skillet here. Just kind of coat the bottom. And then we've had the skillet heating up on medium for about five, 10 minutes. Just you want that nice, even heat. We've got a whole sweet onion here that's diced up. Just kind of a rough chop, nothing crazy. We're just basically going to sweat this for a few minutes. Just kind of get some of the uh, browning on there and, and, you know, mellow the, the uh, flavor out of these. All right, the onions are sweated out. we got some nice coloring, a little browning on here. We're going to go with five cloves of garlic are going in. I'm just going to cook that for about a minute. All right, next star of the show, we have the arrobada from last night. Uh, this is just going to be so, so good. Uh, that's just going to go in. We're basically just trying to heat that through. Okay, so I know I said the Autobot is basically just a rotisserie pork that we did. We basically did it, if you didn't get to watch the last video, with three different kinds of dried chilies with ancho, New Mexico, and pasilla chilies. Uh, the earthiness that comes off of that with the other seasonings that were in there, just the, the flavor of this is amazing. Um, th what's going into this casserole next, since we're doing an elote out of a thing, uh, and like I said, elote is like kind of a, a grilled corn, we're doing fire roasted corn is going in, just to kind of keep with that theme. We've got some fire roasted tomatoes as well. And I've drained off the liquid as much as I could off of both of those cans. But any of the uh, residual liquid that's in there, we're just going to try and cook off a, a little bit because we're going to be adding some uh, cream and mushroom soup as well, as well as a little bit of milk. So we don't want this super runny. 
All right, next, uh, now that most of the water's uh, cooked off of that, we're gonna add about two cups of this cooked rice here. And you can see it's come with a nice red, you know, color to it. That's from that pat El Pato uh, sauce. Yeah, we'll give it a little bit more. You know what? We're just gonna throw the whole thing in. Okay, rice is in. We're just gonna stir that to incorporate everything. And last but not least, like I said, we're going with the cream of mushroom soup. Lote usually has mayonnaise on the outside of it. I figure this will kind of add that creaminess to it. Uh, so we're going to add a can of cream of mushroom. And then we have three quarters of a cup of milk. And I almost forgot, we're doing a can of diced green chilies from Ortega. That's also going in. All right, so this is how the rest of this is gonna go down. We've got about two cups of shredded white cheddar here. It's just gonna go on the top. We've got panko breadcrumbs. These things are amazing. They add like a nice little crust onto the top of this. We're just gonna cover this whole thing with the breadcrumbs. This thing's gonna have an amazing cheesy, bready crust, crunchy, you know, type crust onto the top of this. Just for a little bit of extra presentation style points, I picked up some of these little Fresno peppers. They have, they taste almost like a bell pepper. They almost have no heat. And I just kind of cut them into rings. And we're just gonna place these over the top of this, just to make it look pretty. All right, there we go. Uh, this thing's going in the oven. We got it preheated at 375. We're gonna bake it for about 35 minutes, 40 minutes. And we'll see what it comes out like. Okay, casserole's done. Check this thing out. Looks amazing, smells even better. Let's cut into this thing, see what it looks like, huh? And there you have it. It's a little runny, but looks amazing, smells amazing. Uh, we're gonna finish this off. We've got some cotija cheese here is going on. Like I said, sticking with the elote theme. We're gonna do a little cilantro, cause that goes on as well. I'm gonna do a little squeeze of a, a lime here. And then just a little bit of avocado. And again, so now that it's all dressed up, that's what we're looking at. All right, one last thing every uh, elote needs and you know, to be honest, taco, we got some hot sauce. We're going with Cholula today and that's gonna go on. Let's give this thing a try. That's exactly what I was going for. You get like that whole elote feel, you know, the corn, the hot sauce, the, the casserole is just incredible. Um, the autobata in there just kicks it up to a whole nother level. So guys, we're gonna call this one, you know, another success. Thank you for showing up. Please don't forget to subscribe, any comments, you know, all that stuff. Cheers, see you next time.